Hi, welcome back. It's Debbie. I hope that you're all doing great. Sorry you haven't seen me for a while, but it's just one of those things with my health where I just didn't have a lot of energy to make some videos. So today I'm going to record a couple of them. The first one I'm going to do is a little trash talking. I have a pretty big bag here. This is actually a bag I got from Sephora. You can see it there. And I have it about... Uh, a little less than half full so let's talk about the products that I've used up the last maybe month and a half maybe two months <coughs> excuse me sorry about that first one is this hairspray it's the healthy sexy hair and it's soy touchable and I purchased this at TJ Maxx for $9.99. Really like this hairspray. It gave my hair a nice hold, but not crunchy. And it also made my hair smell good. My mom's really kind of sensitive to scents. And she smelled my hair one time when I was using this. Just like I walked by her and she was like, oh, I love the way your hair smells. And it wasn't the shampoo. It was this hairspray you can see it like that I've been looking at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I haven't found it so I'm probably gonna have to go to a just regular beauty salon or maybe just check online just saw that now and try to find a bottle I also liked it because um, I have a problem holding things like some hairspray cans are real wide and this one is thin and it so it doesn't get too heavy and it's really easy to use so this was a yes and I would repurchase okay this you've probably seen before if you've seen any of my um, trash videos this is the Nivea uh, moisturizing body wash lotion lotion and it's um, orange blossom scent I love this one um, this is the scent that I always get and I always buy this it's just my very favorite helps keep my skin soft and supple and even leaves me with a little bit of a nice scent on my skin and I think I have I thought I had two bottles the next thing but I just have one this is the Garnier it's kind of hard to see because it's a clear bottle bottle with the printing there it's the Garnier Skin Active Micellular Cleansing Water. What I use this for is if I have a day where I'm not uh, wearing makeup, I will cleanse my skin with this and or just to kind of refresh it in the middle of the day if I get like too hot. Or if I have a day like today where I'm wearing makeup, I will first cleanse my skin my face with a regular uh, cleanser or an oil cleanser that I've been liking and then I use this as a toner I purchased a toner that was supposed to be you know for sensitive skin but for some reason toners just dry my skin out and even the ones that have um, alcohol so I really like this one I have found one that I really like that I'll be talking in a skincare video soon but I like to use this as a toner and the other one kind of as a refresher because it's a spray. Anyway, this is a thumbs up and I really like this. I have another bottle in my um, medicine cabinet and I keep a backup. Back, not talking right today. Backup. Okay. This is an oldie but goodie. Not the bottle, but the brand. This is the Fresh Foaming Cleanser. Sorry, it has a hair there. Anyway, um... This is the makeup remover and cleanser in one. I like this a lot, but there are other cleansers that I like better. So I won't repurchase right now, but if I kind of get tired of what I'm using now, this is a good one to buy. I know it will always work, but there are ones that I found that I like better. Okay, this is the BioTrue. This is the only saline solution that I've used for the last maybe five years, maybe a little less. Uh, I love this. It does a great job at cleaning my contacts overnight, and it I can rinse my contacts during the day, and it's just really a nice, nice saline, saline solution for contact lenses. If you're in the market for... Um, a new one or you don't like yours maybe it's too strong or when you first put your contacts on it kind of stings your eyes this one is great 
BioTrue and it's by Bao Shen Lam. So yes, that has been a repurchase. I have a lot of little uh, sample sizes from my um, Ipsy and Birchbox and I'll get to that in a little bit. This mask is by 7th Heaven. It's the Creamy Coconut Hydrating Vitality Boost. And there's a better picture of it. I did not like this mask at all. It just did nothing. It didn't hydrate. It didn't make my skin feel, you know, real refreshed or cleansed or tightened. Just thumbs down and I will not repurchase this again. And that was by 7th Heaven. And this was in the corner. I ripped it off to open the little pouch. It was for adult tired skin. Did nothing for my tired skin. So that's a thumbs down. And let's see. These are the Facial Radiance Pads by uh, First Aid Beauty. These are really nice. The only thing is that even though they're made for sensitive skin, they're a little harsh on my skin. I have to be very careful in my cheek area where I have rosacea. So this is kind of iffy purchase. I, I might buy it again, but I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, but my husband just came home, so I had to give him a kiss hello. And now I'm back to do the rest of my empties for you. Okay, now we're getting down to some smaller sizes, so I'll take a couple. Okay, this is the Oribe Aprez Beach Wave and Shine Spray. And this was really really nice it was kind of like um like a moussey texture and i really liked the way it brought shine to my hair the only reason that i probably wouldn't purchase it again is that orbe hair products are so expensive i mean i maybe if i was going to a special event and i wanted my hair to really look nice but then I'd probably go get it done at the salon. So to tell you the truth, I probably wouldn't purchase this myself. I received it in a birch box. And anytime I receive a Orbe product, I'm really very happy to. Maybe someday I will break down and get something, you know, buy it on my own, I mean. But for now, I'm just going to wait for my birch box to send me them. So that's Orbe. So if you have some, a bigger budget for or you don't mind spending a lot for your hair products or they is really great okay this is the Clarins uh, toning lotion now this is one that I used and this is what it looks like um, it has chamomile and it's alcohol free I did like this but I had to still be very careful and not use it um, too much like just do quick swipe throughout my face you know don't go back and do another one my face my face is so very sensitive and especially to a lot of skincare things so would I repurchase this again I probably would because I know how to use it but if you have uh, sensitive skin just be very careful when you use this and don't like rub hard on your skin but you shouldn't really rub hard with any type of skincare or makeup now this is another product that i really liked it's a dry shampoo and i received this also in the birch box and i was really happy with this this is by the company r and co and it's death valley dry shampoo this is the first dry shampoo that i've liked then um first dry shampoo that I've liked since finding my beloved Batiste, which I've talked about here a lot. I do like this a lot. Uh, the only place that I know that sells this is, um, oh God, I can't remember the name, Blue Mercury. But I'm going to check Sephora because they've got some new um, hair care products and this might be one of the companies that they brought out so would i repurchase again yes it was really very nice didn't leave any um you know like dry flakes the next day i just really liked it sorry but i'm a little hot and just fix my hair okay we have here a product with no lid <laughs> this is the perlice 
her delicate gentle soy milk cleanser and it's a four-in-one sulfate free non drying gently washes away dirt and makeup even mascara it soothes and tones skin for all skin types and that's what it looks like I really like this product a lot um, if I see it in a store and I need a cleanser I would repurchase this because it was really very gentle on my skin yet it did what I needed to do it to do it removed my makeup and it did remove eye makeup too okay this is a bumble and bubble bumble and bubble bumble and bumble product and it's the bumble and bumble thickening hairspray I do like this but it really goes on very wet with one little squirt it's not like a hairspray it's sort of like you're taking a big thing of water and dumping it on like the top of your hair that's where I use thickening stuff because I have thinning hair all over but mostly on the top um, so I didn't like the way that this came out I like the product and how it dried and when I styled my hair it was um, very full and made me look like I had more hair on the top but I don't like the um, packaging they need to change that because it just came out like like I was being doused with a bucket of water okay I'm just throwing the stuff in my bed over there okay this is the Ren Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream I really like this a lot I am using some of the products that I have now and I might go back to um, Sephora and purchase this this really helped my rosacea on my cheeks and my chin and really helped the overall tone of my skin I think Ren are another brand where they make really good skincare so yes I would repurchase just not right now because I have some things that I have to go through. I'm sorry, but my nose is itchy. Okay, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. Now, to be honest with you, I did not finish the whole bottle. Uh, the reason being is that even using a beauty blender, even using like a stippling brush, even using my fingers, um, this was a very thin thick foundation for me I did not like it I like the coverage but I did not like the thickness and it was a lot of work to put it on and in general you know I'd rather spend the work on like doing my eyes and even then I don't want to spend an hour just doing one part of my face this is I think maybe made for someone that has very oily skin so that it goes on maybe faster or smoother for my combination dry skin it just didn't work so that I won't repurchase plus the colors are real weird they run very light this is living proof um, this is the nourishing styling cream I love this product I've had this several times in um, Birchbox um, I think even Ipsy has sent it to me in one of my subscription boxes really like it it really makes the style of my hair last for like two days so really love that when I purchased it in the store absolutely have I no because I'm working through some products okay this is juice beauty's cleansing milk and this is an organic product juice beauty is organic I think they're vegan they're cruelty free they're like as close as you can get to just pure and I really did like this cleansing milk a lot I've been trying some cleansing milks over the last few months and I find that they really work well with my skin and yes I would repurchase that okay this is the Brio Geo don't despair deep conditioning mask I also like that very much no need to go into too long of a review Okay, I'm sure that you have seen this before if you've watched my channel this is the prosacea rosacea treatment this is like a miracle um, treatment for my skin when my rosacea gets very active I put this on and overnight those little white like bumps that I get and they're not milia they're kind of like I know they look like whiteheads but they're not you can't pop them and they're not milia um, 
but they go away overnight and they make my skin feel very smooth. Now I will say that I put this on and I let it dry for a little bit and then I put a nice um, moisturizer on because it does have a tendency to dry my skin. So if I just use that, I will wake up the next day with pretty dry cheeks because that's the area that I use it the most. Okay, this is drop some. This is the Nourish Organic Eye Cream and it's avocado and argan and it's for normal to dry skin. This was nice. Um, it made my under eye feel very um, moisturized and smooth. I don't know if it did anything spectacular so I don't think I would buy it on my own. As you can see it was a small size so that came from a beauty subscription. Okay, this is the Corez Anti-Aging Primer. A lot of people like this, but for some reason it just doesn't work well with my skin. I probably used about half of it. Yeah, it's probably up to there. And then I put it in my bag because it just doesn't work for me, so I wouldn't repurchase it again. I'm trying to grab a few things here. All right, this is the Parlor Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. I don't have the cap, but this is what it looks like. This is a really nice product. I've never seen it in stores, um, but if I needed a detangler, right now my conditioners are working really well to do that, but if I needed one, I would search for this because it is very nice. And it's by the company Parlor by Jeff Chastain. It might be a... No, it's made in the USA. Hmm. I thought it was a, uh, like a company from the UK. Okay, a couple more things and we'll be done with this video. All right, this is a sample size of the Lancome uh, Black Noir oh, Definicels. It's a mascara, and I wouldn't repurchase it again because I found um, other mascaras that I like a little better than this. It's nice, but I think that um, ones that I already have are comparable to this. This is a little sample that I received from a posh order, and it's the Rio Rumba Sand Scrub, and I use this all over my body. This, I use this. Um, all over my body and on my feet and it was really really nice I would purchase it here is a empty bottle of the double wear Estee Lauder stay in place at the time that I was using it I really liked it I can't use it with a regular brush I have to use it with a beauty blender so that it doesn't go on um, so cakey um, right now I would say that I won't purchase it because we're heading towards uh, we're in fall and even though where I live we don't get really cold it does get a, t a little bit drier the humidity is not that high so it would be a waste to buy it now I think in the summer I probably would repurchase this again this is a really nice foundation it's talked about a ton here on YouTube and if you just put a search in the search bar you can find so many um reviews on it let's see a couple more things okay this is the milk jumbo eye pencil and yogurt and the reason why i am throwing it out is because it just got too old um and that was my fault i really like these a lot to use as bases for eyeshadow um so I would definitely repurchase these. And NYX products are good. Um, the price, the price point is good, and they always have like little sales. All right, this is by Eva NYC, and it's a hung Hungarian hair oil treatment. And yes, I would purchase this again. I think that they do send, sell this at Blue Mercury. Um, it was very nice and it made my hair shine for a few days after that and um, actually till the next uh, shampooing. So I did really like it a lot. Not too greasy. 
And then um, the last product I'm going to show to you is, I don't know, this is kind of wet from, I think, the shampoo bottle. Um, not shampoo, body, body stuff. <laughs> this is the Maybelline. Everyone has seen this on here. Don't need to open it up. Um, yes, I always have one of these in my um, collection or makeup whatever you want to call it. It's really great to put like in the inner corner over here where I get the darkest and it's nice and light. So there are my trash for the last about a month or so, maybe a month and a half. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I just wanted to make uh, mention one thing. Um, I have not been commenting on the last maybe two, three videos, not on purpose. I will be getting to you. I made some little comments to people that needed to know right away on an answer, but I will be getting to everybody. Um, I'm going to be working on that the next couple days. So please don't think that I've stopped commenting because that's really important to me to communicate with you and for you to communicate back with me. Also, I need some more questions for the uh, question and answer video that I want to do. I only have just maybe five, maybe a little, maybe six, and I want to have maybe around 15 questions. That'll be great. Maybe a little bit more and I'll try to answer it quickly, but quickly, who knows? <laughs> I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.